life, all my American outlaw pals. I appreciate you watching. Do me a favor, subscribe, hit that subscribe button. If you're not quite an outlaw yet, but you know deep down in your heart you are an outlaw, hit that subscribe button. And if you don't think you're an outlaw at all, oh well, hit the subscribe button, talk a bunch of crap to me, tell me how dumb I am in the comments, I don't care. But we do appreciate each and every one of you. And today let's talk about the difference in a 308 and a 65 Creedmoor. This is a absolute crazy topic and here's why. If you look at the history, the 308 has stood the test of time as a sniper rifle. So when most people think sniper rifle, they think 308. And it also makes a great little hunting cartridge. And then along came the big machine of deciding that we need to market more and we need more money and we need to do a little competition. We need to we need to make it to where, you know, precision rifle competitions are coming along. We need to make a little bit better cartridge. So they come out with the 6.5 Creedmoor. And then it started this entirely huge fanboy group. I remember when the 6.5 Creedmoor first came out and everybody was like, we don't want the 6.5 Creedmoor. We can get way more out of the 260. And if we want more than that, we'll get the 260 AI. And then we got the 6.5 47. So 6.5 Creedmoor is a waste. Well, the big companies got it and they pushed it with their big machine and they've got the 6.5 Creedmoor. And so everybody thinks that the 6.5 Creedmoor is the greatest thing since sliced bread. Now, I have several 6.5 Creedmoors, six I think, and I have several 308s, like eight or 10 of them. I've shot both of them a bunch. Now I'm gonna tell you, I will be absolutely shocked if you can find you know, a handful more people than have shot more animals with a 6.5 Creedmoor and a 308 than I did, than I have in my lifetime. So I have shot a lot of hogs. I've shot a lot of odd dad culling them for different ranches. And the effective range of a 6.5 Creedmoor and a 308 is exactly the same. And I'm gonna tell you, it's 600 meters. They kill very well at 500. They do okay, pretty good at 600. Beyond that, I've made shots and it takes multiple shots or it takes a long time for that animal to go down. So 600 meters is, a, is the top line of both of those cartridges. I know right now you're just saying, oh my gosh, I've, I've read all these stories about snipers hitting targets of opportunity at 1,000 and 1,200 and I've seen Todd Hodnett hit them at a mile. Look, I'm not saying the gun doesn't hit there. I'm not saying the gun cannot be effective there if you make a good shot, but really, the 308 and the 6.5 Creedmoor work, work, work at 500 meters, and they work pretty good to 600 meters. Beyond that, they both have a really hard time. I'm not saying a hard time hitting the target. I'm saying they have a hard time actually with terminal ballistics doing the job that you wanted them to do on a target of opportunity, whatever it is, the hunt of a lifetime. So I don't stretch them past there. So for me, they're both the same. The difference is, are small in that, yes, the 6.5 Creedmoor does better in wind. Yes, the 6.5 Creedmoor does better in, in your actual elevation. But what does it matter if I dial, say, three mils or 3.6 mils? Nothing, it just tick, 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 and boom, I shot it with the 308. What does it matter if I hold one mil or one and a half mils? Nothing, it doesn't matter. I just, I, I read the wind better, I understood the gun and I was able to shoot it. Some things that the 308 offers a lot better than the 6.5 Creedmoor. One of them is barrel life. 6.5 Creedmoor, 1800, you know, I've heard of them going 2500 rounds, but I'd say most 6.5 Creedmoor barrels are gonna go at about 2000 rounds, 1800 to 2000 rounds. Um, I've shot a few of them out. I got a buddy that's a 6.5 Creedmoor fanboy. He shot a lot of them out. They work really well, but about that 1800 to 2000 mark, they're done. 308s are gonna go more like six to 10,000. And I'd say most of them probably pop right there about seven, 7,500 rounds and you need a new barrel. So you get almost two thirds better barrel life out of a 308 than you do a 6.5 Creedmoor. Also the, the 308, you can use a more compact package. So 308 we know works very well for long range in an 18 inch barrel. We know with the 6.5 Creedmoor, you need a longer barrel, 20 inch barrel, 22 inch barrel. So you can go a little bit smaller in a smaller package, especially in a gas gun with a 308 than you can with a uh, 6.5 Creedmoor. The pressures are less on a 308, which is why the barrel life lasts longer. And the 308 is pumping a 175 grain bullet out, which for terminal ballistics works a lot better for cutting through wind and having more mass on the target. So. Is one better than the other? Yes, the 6.5 Creedmoor probably has an edge. But if you're seriously talking to me about, oh my gosh, the 6.5 Creedmoor is so much better than the 308. Well, if you're looking for so much better, 
then cool. What, what is your purpose? Use a 6.5 PRC. If you're looking for so much better than that, use a 300 Win Mag. And the truth is, if you're looking for the best ballistics you can possibly have, use a 300 Norma or a 28 Nosler. Now you're talking so much better. But when you're talking short actions, 308, 65 Creedmoor, six millimeter Creedmoor, 25 Creedmoor, they're all the same. They're all roughly the same. And you're literally arguing pennies when you're talking about a game of hundred dollar bills. So there's not enough difference for you to be able to choose 308 or 65 Creedmoor. Now, 65 Creedmoor, I would say if you were trying to shoot competition um, and you need to shoot cups or little bitty targets, yes, choose the 65 Creedmoor. It's gonna be more forgiving if you're off on your range or if you're off on your wind. But if you're just trying to hit targets of opportunity, then there's nothing wrong with a 308. It's excellent, excellent to 600 meters. You don't need to change anything, stick with it. If I didn't own any and I was trying to get into a bolt gun today, what I would do is I'd try to find two to three cases of ammo, four to 600 rounds. If I could find it in 308, match ammo, I'd buy a 308. If I could find it in 6.5 Creedmoor, I'd buy a 6.5 Creedmoor. I wouldn't switch anything that I had. I'd find the ammo. When I purchased the ammo, then I would look at getting a rifle because the truth is if you're having to ask me about a 6.5 Creedmoor and a 308, you need a lot of time shooting as it is. And so go ahead and spend that time shooting, get very proficient to 600 yards. And by that time, when you figured that out, you'll know that competition shooters don't shoot 6.5 Creedmoor anymore. They're shooting a six millimeter gay tiger or they're shooting a six millimeter dasher. Sorry, George. Anyway, that's, that's the competition rounds of today. They're not in the 6.5 Creedmoor or the 6.547 Lapua anymore. So kind of decide what it is that you think you want to do. And if you need so much better than the 308, well, then you probably need a 300 Win Mag or a 300 Norma. All right, guys, appreciate you watching. I know that's a controversial topic, but the truth is there's not no there, effective range. There's no difference in 308 and 6.5 Creedmoor. Just get one and start shooting. All right, like, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. Check out American Outlaw Nation. We appreciate you very much. Stay tuned.